and we continue on our trip throughout North Dakota. This is another spot that we found kind of by accident. One thing about being in this area is that I'm finding out there's cool things everywhere. If you keep your eyes open, you'll stumble upon fantastic things. This is on private property. We do have permission to be on site. But as you can see, this is like an old abandoned uh, home, probably at one point in time. There's a schoolhouse up the hill, and uh, it looks just fantastic. The sky looks very dramatic. It is really cold today. The temperature dropped like a gazillion degrees, but it looks awesome. So we're hoping to get a few uh, uh, great shots here. Uh, as I said, we have permission to be on the property, but we got about 10 minutes to wrap this up. So let's check out and see what this has to offer. Check it out. This place was really cool. And talk about working under pressure. We managed to shoot a number of images in record time. All in keeping with our promise to not disturb anything and to make it quick. As we drove away from the spot, we encountered many other locations that even though were similar in context, each had their own personality, their own look, and something very different to say. The changing weather conditions certainly added an element of darkness and mysteriousness to the personality of each of these locations, adding to their uniqueness and to their own photographic worthiness. While it was interesting to visit and photograph these locations under such dramatic conditions, the rapidly changing weather just kept making it challenging to access or even photograph some of these places. The winds just kept getting stronger as the temperatures kept dropping. We needed a plan B. So we find the Dakota Territory Air Museum. This is an aerospace museum located on North Hill in Minot near the area's International Airport. The Dakota Territory Air Museum was founded in 1986. The museum consists of a main information room, a restoration hangar, and two new display hangars. The purpose of this facility, as it was explained to us, is to provide the most comprehensive aviation facility in the state and the region. A place to not only display famous military and vintage aircraft, but a place dedicated to telling and showing the rich and varied story of the region's aviation history. In the short time since the museum's dedication, the members have built a solid foundation, establishing a working museum with aircraft, restoration projects, and a role in the region's promotion of aviation activities. Visiting this museum was a nice, unexpected addition to our itinerary, and it is one that we will strongly consider as an addition to future photography workshops. Music